Hi there! Welcome to this answer explanation video from Classroom Secrets. In this video I'm going to go over the subtract more than four digits worksheet. I'll go through all of the answers and hopefully cover some of the bits that you might have found a little bit tricky. Question 1 says, using the boxes provided, put an X in the incorrect calculations below. And then there are four calculations that have already been performed. What we need to do to solve this question is do the calculations ourselves to see whether or not the calculations on the sheet are correct or not. So the first thing we need to do then is calculation A, 71,476 subtract 9,521. 6 take away 1 is 5, 7 take away 2 is 5, and then 4 take away 5 we can't do, we're going to need to do an exchange. 14 subtract 5 is 9. 0 subtract 9 we can't do, so we need to do an exchange. And 10 subtract 9 is 1. 6 subtract nothing is 6, and the answer is 6 to 1,955. However, on the sheet, it says the answer is 61,855. So in the box next to A, we need to put an X. B, 29,091 subtract 15,255. We can't do 1 subtract 5, so we need to perform an exchange. And then 11 take away 5 is 6. 8 subtract 5 is 3. 0 subtract 2 we can't do, so we need to do an exchange. And then 10 subtract 2 is 8. 8 subtract 5 is 3 again. And then 2 subtract 1 is 1. So our answer is 13,836. However, the answer on the sheet is different as it's 14,836. So again, calculation B is incorrect and we need to put an X in the box. C, 35,026 subtract, um, subtract 11,448. So we can't do 6 subtract 8, so we need to exchange. 16 subtract 8 is 8. 1 subtract 4 we can't do, we need to do an exchange, however there's nothing in the hundreds column to exchange from. So we're going to need to do multiple exchanges across. So from the thousands column we can do an exchange and then we can exchange that for um, a 1, a 10, a 10. So then we do 11 subtract 4 which gives us um, 7. 9 subtract 4 is 5. 4 subtract 1 is 3, and 3 subtract 1 is 2. So we get 23,578. This time, our answer matches the answer on the sheet. So this time, we can leave it alone. We don't need to put a cross or an X in the box. Finally, D, 18,556, subtract 7,448. 6 subtract 8, we can't do, so we need to do an exchange. 16 subtract 8 is 8, 4 subtract 4 is 0, 5 subtract 4 is 1, 8 subtract 7 is also 1, and 1 subtract nothing is also 1. So the answer is 11,108. However, on the sheet, our answer is 10,108. So finally, D is incorrect and needs a cross in the box. So A, B and D are incorrect, and C is a correct answer. Question two says, number the answers to the calculations below in ascending order from one to four. So what we need to do is we need to solve the calculations and work out which number is the biggest and which number is the smallest from the answers we get. So let's start by solving the calculation. So one subtract five, we can't do. But we also can't do an exchange from the tens column. So we need to exchange from the hundreds column. Exchange then from the tens column. And then do 11 subtract 5, which is 6. Then we can do 9 take away 1, which is 8. We can't do 8 take away 9, so we need to do an exchange again. And then we can do 18 subtract 9, which is 9. And we can't subtract 9 from Four, so we need to exchange one more time. 14 subtract 9 is 5, and then 1 subtract nothing is 1. So we get 15,986. 
B. If we do 2 subtract 1 is 1, 5 subtract 3 is 2. 0 subtract 2 we can't do, so we need to do an exchange. And then we do 10 subtract 2, which is 8. 5 subtract 0 is 5, and 2 subtract 1 is 1. C, 5 subtract 1 is 4, 9 subtract 2 is 7, 9 subtract 4 is 5. 4 subtract 9 we can't do, so we exchange. And then 14 subtract 9 is 5, and then 1 subtract nothing is 1. And then finally D, 2 subtract 7 we can't do, so we exchange. And then we do 12 subtract 7, which is 5. 6 subtract 8 we can't do. So we do an exchange, but then 16 subtract 8, we get 8. 8 subtract 9, we can't do, so we have to do another exchange. 18 subtract 9 is 9, 5 subtract 0 is 5, and 2 subtract 1 is 1. So if we look, all of our answers are in the 15,000s. So A, we've got 15,986. B, we've got 15,821, C, 15,574, and D, 15,985. So now we need to compare all of these answers. We put a 1 in next to the smallest and work up to the largest, which will then be a 4. So... Which number is the smallest? Well, we know that they're all 15,000, so we can't use the um, 10,000s and the 1,000s column to compare, but we can look at the 100s. So A, there is a 9 in the 100s column. In B, there is an 8 in the 100s column. In C, there is a 5 in the 100s column. And in D, there is a 9 in the 100s column. So C, 15,574 is the smallest. So we put a 1 next to that calculation. The next smallest then would be 15,821 because it has an 8 in the hundreds column and the other two have a 9. So the next one is B. Then we need to look at the tens column or the ones column to compare A and D. They've both got an A in the tens column, so we can't compare. However, A has a 6 in the ones column, and D has a 5 in the ones column. So D is smaller than A. And A is the largest. So C is 1, B is 2, D is 3, and A is 4. The final question says, a pirate ship is loaded with 41,942 gold coins and sets sail. A storm hits the ship and 20,568 gold coins are swept into the ocean. 10,938 gold coins are then stolen before the pirate ship manages to reach its destination. Pirate Paul says, by the end of the journey, there will be less than 10,443 gold coins left. Is he correct? Explain how you know. Now there is a lot to do in this problem. There's quite a few steps to it. Our first step is going to be to find out how many gold coins are left after the first bunch of coins, the 20,568 gold coins, have ended up in the ocean. And we need to subtract that from his initial starting gold number of gold coins, which was 41,942. So let's do that calculation first. Two take away eight, we can't do. We need to do an exchange. And then we get 12 subtract eight. 12 subtract eight leaves us with four. Three subtract six, again, we can't do. So we need to do another exchange. And we end up with 13 subtract six, which gives us seven. Eight take away five is three. One take away zero is one, and four subtract two is two. So once those gold coins have fallen off the ship and into the ocean, Pirate Paul is left with 21,374 coins. However, another load of coins get stolen, don't they? Pirate Paul is not having a good day. So the next calculation we can do then 
is 21,374. Subtract 10,938. Those are the ones that get taken. So if we do um, 4 subtract 8, we can't do, but we can exchange. So we get 14 subtract 8, which leaves us with 6. 6 subtract 3 is 3. 3 subtract 9, again, we can't do, so we must do an exchange. So 13 subtract 9 gives us 4. 0 take away 0 is 0, and 2 subtract 1 is 1. So by the end of the journey, Pirate Paul, bless him, has 10,436 coins left, which is quite a lot to lose, really. Now let's think back to what he said. He said, by the end of the journey, there will be less than 10,443 gold coins. 10,443. Is this number less than 10,443? Well, yes, it is. We can we know this because 10,436 is smaller than 10,443. So Pirate Paul is correct. So at least he's got that, even if he is short a few coins. That was an answer explanation video on subtract more than four digits from Classroom Secrets. If you would like to watch the video tutorial that accompanies this step, please go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. And if you would like more resources on this skill, please visit our other website, classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.